The Silas is the last lock-in, though. Maybe gives them a bit of an X-factor through nuclear and to play something a little differently. A number of uh, very valuable ultimates to steal away as well, so... Nuclear can not yet leaving their sides of the uh, rift. The yes, Scuttlers are spawning now. That's a level three Volleybad. Volleybad becomes Exodia when he heads into mid lane with that level three. See as he's uh, hanging out in that bush. Was seen on a ward just beforehand. Ooh, that's a decent catch backwards from okay. Xmanny. Flash for flash, traded to, in fact, stuck against the wall. Xmanny's got the shot in first blood. There we go, Adote. Going up in advance. You know, there's who's down in bot side. Bot lane uh, was very happy to Push in, use that jungle presence to stay safe and make sure they get control of that wave. Get some over to that dragon. Very simple uh, response to that top lane play. They know there's no contest coming through. Get that mountain dragon. And this is one of the few dragons where, of course, it look like they found a window to secure an uncontested dragon. And now I think it's probably a good time right now. 11 minutes, we've had, you know, first Herald, which has already been taken, and uh, the ability to take these dragons. One apiece. You've got Tom Kinch that can buy some time. Straws this time, however, are not investing too many resources. Zerste is making his way down. Dayo just got his the Andrews and has teleport available, but this tower is going very, very low. BDS, credit to them. They found a window, they had support, they had vision. So they chunked a bunch of that tower's okay, damage. Okay. Zerk comes out, Xmad is firing away. Obviously going to continue to sidestep, and all of a sudden, Xmad is just firing away the target. So Adot is not going to be able to find a second kill here. But yeah, as you mentioned, so much information to work with. Let's go again. This time we'll get the hang flash. On, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. One time, shame on them. Two times, shame on you. You walked up to the same bush so many times there. Now there's no minion wave yet. So they chunked down to 50% HP. Dayors roamed through the jungle. And this is a four on two if the gap can be closed. It is going to be able to jump away and the Chaos Storm does nothing. This is a lot of skill shots. It's a dash through the wall, the zap rather, through the wall from Kabi. Not too much damage applied. And it is dropped, and the dragon has been started. Vizachachi stepping forward. Call of the Forge God, where is it? Huh? And he's thrown backwards. Knocked up. Look at that damage. The re engage and fly away. And Ante stays alive. The bullet time does not do enough. It's interrupted halfway through. But can Aggressivo finish it all up? That's one, two kills for Astralis. A reply back as Jonghun goes down, and Astralis are not done yet. Edate started the fight. Edate is running away from the fight. The dragon was secured by Astralis as well. A massive win for Astralis. And honestly, a lot of that comes off of the back. Was secured oh. yet for Astralis. We're going to be playing for that Infernal Soul. One, two, three, four members making their way up. But Xmati's going to be a little bit late. And yes, are not going to be able to hold the fray. That's a knock up onto Synchro. The chains are caught. A zap comes out as well. Here's Xmati. Can he find the bullet time? The tower's been secured. Dropping down, make it rain. Oh, no further from That's a re engage. Jonghun once again goes too far forward. That's not the direction. Aggressivo is looking for the snip, the cut, the kill. But Kobe's able to fire back. BDS get the kill. And Charles got the tower. And I mean, I, I know I praised Jonghun for the last engage. Wrong like that from uh, something like the time catch. But that's your only engage option outside of that called Forge Goblin that misses. You're really left with just hoping that time catch W hits and does it hit? It does it hit? Does it hit? Yes, it does. A two-man knockup. Oh, get synchro. So the flying miles. He was thrown in the air once again, and the timing is the best. 20 seconds before the next dragon. This will allow Astralis to push this middle wave. They're going to go for a fight. They're going to go for a fight. xmati has got the bullet time. Waiting to channel it if he can. He's going to dash backwards away. The Chaos Storm is pushing him out the fight. The Chaos Storm has killed him. He couldn't even press R. That's a double for Deo. The fifth for Astralis. BDS, they end up diving into this phalanx, this multiple uh, carry comp, which is just so much damage. When you're stuck in and amongst them, Nuclear End had a pretty OK angle. Just wasn't quite enough. Oh, I just hear flashbacks of Nymera in picks and bands. You know, this comp looks a little bit oh, like uh, lane dominant. You know, win lane, win game. You didn't quite. The CC chain coming through, and without your volley bear, that's most of your front line gone. Gwen W is basically the only thing which can half counter it. Now we're back into another grouped up fight situation. BDS do not want to be in this situation. No, they don't, but Astralis absolutely do. The more people in one lane, the happier they are. Xmati starts to channel that bullet time, but once again is threatened and pushed away. Astralis get themselves the tower. Them right now. They were trying to push that mid lane as soon as Vizichachi 
uh, Aggressivo correction was there to catch it. Then Astralis backed away. Push mid, get to river, control river, push your vision forward. Then and only then can you consider picking up the objective. It's just gonna be a fight! It's just gonna be a fight! Synchro's in! Synchro's out! That's not a fight! That turned the, no. turn the sirens off! It's That's a parking ticket. <laughs> that, there's, there's no action to be had here. This is Chachi now gets snipped. Both teams really want this. Both teams are like, come on, man. Hit me. They hit me, but what are they going to hit them with? Nuclear it maybe has an angle. One of the better ones that BDS have had. He's off of vision, and now he's not. Stralis. Poke him with the stick. Do? do something. Call of the Forge God thrown into the pit, and it is secured by Synchro. He couldn't start the fight but he could find the dragon. It's at the cost of Ex Mati and Aggressivo's lives. However, now Astralis are trying to hunt down multiple members more. Synchrov will get chunked down. There was no ways to get away from that Death Star laser. And, now and this, this may be awful. Baron. It's, more, it's yep. Baron, and then also on top of Baron, you also have this wave waiting for you. You have this wave waiting for you. You have all three lanes at a point where you can go straight off of that Baron. You can reset, you can get onto those minions and immediately get results. Nuclear Rent has to do a lot of duty here to make sure that, that BDS can at least survive the coming storm. Astralis, that is, even without that soul, a pretty game-breaking play. Yeah, very much so. I mean, the gold now spirals. The ability the to was falling. That's where you went to? Uh, I know there were two separate <laughs> ideas, but that, that was a unique picture because BDS are the dominoes and they are being knocked over one by one. Here's uh, Astralis setting themselves up on the board. Can Edate find the engage? No flash available to him. Double call the Forge Gods are crossing streams in the top lane. But it is, of course, Visit Chachi doing the brunt of the tanking. None of the carries are meaningfully harmed. So two inhibitors will be exposed. What, what is happening there? Exmati goes in, forced to flash out as well. Bullet time is available, starts to be channeled, and it is instantly stopped. He cannot get a full channel. Double kill for Kabi and three members of BDS trying to defend the Nexus turrets. If they stick around long enough, the super minions could just do this for Astralis. Well, actually, you can see Astralis, the solo laners are recalling while they're doing that because they got double TPs, get to come back in, try and long, land that knockout blow. Nuclear in, can't steal that final uh, Orn ult, the call of the forgery god. It's paper, it's not, <laughs> not checked out. And BDS, they don't have any way to engage. They can't no, they close don't. it down. They don't indeed. Still two members are down. That's a great searing charge. And BDS are being obliterated under their nexus. Astralis will pick up their first win of summer. Kami just uh, making it interesting at the end, making sure he dies that fountain laser, keeping it spicy. The game played out as you may have expected from the draft in terms of the pace in the early game. I was a little disappointed to not see 